Well, praise God. I would like to say a big welcome to each and every one of you joining us on this Friday night for another very special prayer. Looking at the story of one of the saints of old as we continue our prayers on changing your story to glory. Before we go on tonight, I've got some special music for you. This is the black gospel like it used to be. And I'm going to play you a very special song by Willie Neil Johnson. Have you ever heard this guy sing? He has a guy that sings with him called Robert. I don't believe he's going to sing in this selection, but he has one voice like I've never heard before. But here is Willie Johnson. Enjoy him. All my life, I always wanted to sing a song with a choir. <laughs> I have my chance now to sing with the Mississippi Man's choir. But just before I let that choir sing with me, let me say this. I'm your
Willie Johnson, try me now and see. The old country boy, such a talented man. We'll bring you more of him in the future. But let's go back to where we used to be. James Cleveland, Jesus is the light. we could continue with that but uh, time is always against us when we're having fun Minister Mike I thank you I appreciate you Minister Mike may God truly bless you and uh, country boy I thank you for blessing us tonight with our special music and Jesus is the light by James Cleveland Choir God bless you all I hope you are refreshed by that special music. We'll bring you more next week if Jesus tarries. Until then, we have to move on in the program of the night. And that is going to the prayers of tonight. None other than our stories changing into glory. Welcome, welcome everyone to the closing prayers for this week. 
I trust your week has been as good as mine have been. We give God the praise for his mercy over our lives. Don't forget, though, that you can always download any of an all past prayer meetings and sermons from our podcast. And as always, they don't cost you anything. They are free of charge. Inform others about whatever blesses you so they can be blessed also. By the time the service is over tonight, we will have had over 10,000 downloads. That's not a lie. 10,000 downloads. It looked like it was yesterday we were talking about reaching 600 downloads. Then we went from that to 1,000, we went from that to 2,000, we went from that to 3,000. And tonight, before this service is over, we'll have had over 10,000 connected to this prayer line from over 27 countries. If you missed my sermon, by the way, on Sunday, last Sunday, beware of the doctrine of coronavirus. Uh Ah, I've had so many good feedbacks concerning that sermon, and the download also indicates that people love to hear such a sermon. So you can go on the podcast also and download that sermon, Beware of the Doctrine of Coronavirus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, tonight is another night that you have made, and we have made up our minds that we're going to spend right now time as right now prayer time. We pray you will bless us all as we pray and that great things will happen on this prayer line, bringing great testimonies. Deliver the oppressed, set the captives free. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. From Wednesday, our focus has been on stories of people that glory changed completely. We looked at the story of Lazarus, and yesterday we looked at the story of Jabez. And both stories affirm that truly change is possible. I don't know, I don't know what you're going through, folks. Whatever it is that you are confronted by and confronted with tonight, change is possible. Don't ever forget that. Change is possible. And my prayer for you is that you will reap the fruit of your prayers that you have prayed in this last two days. Our focus tonight is another story. You know, the Bible is full of stories that God changed to glory. So when I saw so many stories coming to my mind to choose from, I decided to lay everything aside and I went before God. What is your choice for tonight? And I can say without any shadow of doubt, it did not even take me three seconds to be told what we should pray on tonight. Our focus tonight is a story that is full of Pain is a story that is full of what man can do to man. It's a story that shows how wickedness can be in a man's family. No wonder Jesus Christ said that a man's foes are they of his household. And like many of you have heard me say, The nearer they are to you in blood, the more bloody they are. This was a story of a man that his own blood brothers, they all came out of the same womb, but they were ready to tear him to shreds. There are people connected to you tonight that are going to get into a lot of trouble. And I'm, I'm speaking to you prophetically you will testify those who are close to you in blood and have become bloody against you they will whistle 
loud tonight as a result of this prayer. And as the brothers of Joseph came prostrating before him, they will come falling down before you, apologizing. This story shows how God can make one rise above all odds. And I don't know how many odds are against you, but God can. And God will make you rise above them all. This was the story of a man that rose from nothing to something. This was the story of a man that rose from nobody to somebody. It was the story of Joseph. A story comprising of jealousy and envy within a family. A story that showed household wickedness can work against a man or a woman in the family. A story of hatred of destiny and hatred of potential. I mean, who did you expect him to tell? about what God showed him. Wouldn't it have been his brothers? Wouldn't it have been his father? Wouldn't it have been his mother? These are the people you should be able to trust. But like one guy who works for me here in New York used to tell us, <clears throat> it's a Spanish guy. He would say, trust no man. That's what, that's, what, that's what he used to say to us. Trust no man. And that became a, 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 a way of talking between us when we see each other. Trust no man. Even blood of your own blood, flesh of your own flesh. They see how good God's been to you. They see how great you are doing. And they are looking for a way to cut you down. We are going to pray about that tonight. And the Lord will deliver you. The Lord will rescue you in a mighty way. It was a story of betrayal. Oh, they betrayed this guy. They betrayed him. And I like what I wrote here. I said it was a story of human trafficking. Can you believe that? Human trafficking. You will not believe how many Africans are in Europe that got there through human trafficking. You will not believe how many Africans are in uh, India that got there through human trafficking. I was watching a documentary in, uh, in India about some girls that were taken from uh, Kenya and they were taken with a promise to get a good job and they got there only to find out they were getting into prostitution, human trafficking. They sold this guy into slavery. That was part of his story, people. And then they framed him into trouble. When he got there, it was Potiphar's wife that framed him up. Have you ever been framed? And then they threw him in jail. He had no lawyer to, 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 to fight for him. After all, he was in a strange land. And everybody abandoned him. Even his boss abandoned him. And then it also came against failed promises. After I interpreted dreams, the promise was, I will remember you when it is good for me. But he did remember, uh-uh, failed promises. But in spite of all these catalog of woes in the story of Joseph, God still changed his story for his glory. In fact, God used the details of the story to work things out for him. Let me ask you the same question I've asked you all week long. What is your story? <laughs> there are people that have stories on this prayer line. Oh, in fact, there are people whose stories are still ongoing right now. More than likely, you may be able to find portions of Joseph's story that you can relate to. You've had jealousy unleashed against you. You've had household wickedness working against you. Hatred of destiny potential 
by people that should be happy for you. In fact, some people are not happy because of your state right now. You are driving a car and they're not happy. The car is not even paid for. They don't realize that. You still owe money on the car. I mean, you, you've been paying for this car for five years. It's not paid for. And they look at you. They are jealous of you. They don't know how much your note is every month. $600 every month is your note. And they are jealous of you. They come from Africa to Europe to come and visit you and they see all your children driving. They don't know it's all on high upper chase. Lord have mercy. Betrayal in the hands of people that you trusted. You gave them vital information about yourself and they betrayed you. Maybe you have even been human trafficked. Who knows? Maybe you've worked like a slave for your brother's wife for your uncle's wife. Maybe they just took you in. They said they will be guardians, but you are nothing but a slave inside their house. And the memory of that is still affecting you emotionally. Have you ever been framed up? They lied against you. You know, some lies are easy to shake off, but some lies are so well told that it will take the grace of God to shake it off. I've had experiences with that. Wrong imprisonment. I don't need to tell you that. How many people go to prison in the United States and it was all wrong. I'm sure you've heard stories upon stories of people who will come out and DNA will uh, set them free. But they've been in jail for 30 something years. They've been in jail for 50 something years. And they were not the ones that committed the crime. We are going to pray against that tonight. Abandonment. Failed promises. How many times people give you promises? I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. And they never did a single thing that they promised. It's part of stories. <laughs> but as God took it all up for his glory, he will do the same for you in the name of Jesus. Joseph, after his turnaround, he gave a two-verse but very powerful summary. Hallelujah. Just a two-part summary he gave. And it was such a beautiful, beautiful thing to read. And I'm going to read it to you tonight from the book of Genesis, chapter 41. Verse 51 and verse 52. This is so nice. You know, if I were to read all the story of Joseph, we would not be able to pray tonight. But thank God, Joseph himself summarized his story in two verses. Two powerful verses. Let me read them to you. This is the summary of the whole story of Joseph. From the time they said, here comes the dreamer. To the time when Pharaoh made him second in command. Genesis 41. I'm reading verse 51 and verse 52. And Joseph called the name of his firstborn Manasseh. For God, he said, has made me to forget all my toil and all my father's house. Did I hear you say an amen to that? God's going to give you children. They may not be born yet. And they may be among the children that are born now that will make things up for you. I know right now they don't look like anybody. But these children that God will give you because you're going to get pregnant. Those of you who think you will never have a child. You're going to get pregnant. And the children God will give you, they will be the children that will point you to the victory over the enemies. Of your glory. And to those of you who have children that are struggling now, don't worry about it. God's going to turn things around for those children, and you're going to eat the fruit of your labor on them. Hallelujah. So he said, Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For God, he said, has made me to forget all my toil and all. All my father's house. I like what the basic Bible says on that verse 51. I read, 
And to the first, he gave the name Manasseh, for he said, God has taken away from me all memory of my hard life. Did you hear that? And of my father's house. Hard life. Difficult life. You know, sometimes when people look at you today, they think everything has been on a bed of roses. No, 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 no. You've gone through hard life. Look at what he said in verse 52. And the name of the second he called Ephraim. For God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Can you see the conflict there? How can you be fruitful in the land of affliction? That is the glory of God. Regardless of what land you have yourself today. Regardless of what status you are today. God is able to make you fruitful in that very land. What a beautiful way to summarize the story of his life. And you can just divide the story of his life into two, according to those two verses. His story as connected to his father's house, that is the first part. The second part, his story as connected to the land of Egypt. One he described as toil, and the other he described as affliction. Can you believe that? One he described as toil, the other he described as affliction. Those two are enough to give anyone an emotional breakdown. Well, because God was in the story, and God is going to mingle with your story to bring it out for his glory tonight. Because God was in the story of Joseph, in spite of the affliction, in spite of the toil, the story came out wonderfully. And the Bible says, it concluded in fruitfulness. That's what happened. May God also walk on your behalf. May God change your story like he changed the story of Joseph and he ended up in abundance of fruitfulness. We're going to pray tonight. I think I got about 50 something prayer points here that we are going to use to pray. Some of them will tarry long. Some of them will just mention them and go, up, go on. But all these prayer points are things God has given me tonight from these two verses from the story of Joseph that ultimately turned into glory. That was a man that went from prison to the palace. Hallelujah. And you are going to go into a better place before your story is over. Come on, open your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you for another evening of prayers tonight. Father, I will bless you. We worship you. We thank you for bringing us together. Come on, get ready. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Father, I personally bless your name for giving me the opportunity again to come and lead these prayers. There are many, 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 many people who are qualified to lead these prayers. So I don't see myself as a special person to be behind these microphones. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to lead these prayers. Father, glory be to your name, honor be to your name, dominion be to your name, majesty be to your name. I wanted to thank God for being with you since the beginning of the day on this Friday. And for many of you, it's already Saturday morning. I wanted to thank God for watching over you, for keeping you, for protecting you in your going out, in your coming in, and for making it possible for you to keep this appointment again today. We we'll bless the name of the Lord and we we'll worship him for that. I wanted to thank God for what he did for you yesterday. I wanted to thank God for what he did for you day before yesterday. I wanted to thank God for his many, 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 many blessings that he rained upon your life. We give him glory. We give him praise. We give him thanks. Come on, thank him. Thank him because you shall have a testimony from these prayers. I wanted to say that to God tonight as a confession of faith. And say, God, I thank you because I shall have a testimony. A great Great testimony, a mighty, mighty testimony 
as a result of these prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because I will have a testimony as a result of these prayers tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I wanted to ask God tonight to give you the grace then to be able to pray. It's not by might, it's not by power. A man can receive nothing except it be given him from above. Except God helps you, you cannot even pray for three minutes. But if God helps you and energizes you, if God helps you and strengthens you, you will pray for one hour and it will look like one minute. I want you to pray for that grace before we start praying tonight. I want you to say, Lord, rain your grace upon me. Lord, release your grace upon me. I don't depend upon the grace of yesterday. I don't depend upon the grace of this morning. I want new grace, fresh grace to be upon my life even to be able to pray tonight. Open your mouth and ask God to give you grace tonight to be able to pray. I want you to ask for the spirit of prayer tonight. I want you to ask for the spirit of supplication tonight. I want you to ask for the spirit of intercession tonight. Say, Lord, give me that spirit that will enable me to be able to intercede, that will enable me to be able to pray, that will enable me to be able to supplicate. Father, put it in my life. Release it into my life. Pour it into my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace to pray tonight. Let it be upon this prayer line in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for grace to stay awake. Both those of you who are still, uh, you still have many hours before bedtime. And those of you who is already past bedtime. I want you to pray that God will give you the grace to be able to stay awake tonight. God will give you the grace to be able to stay up tonight to pray. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray that God will remove all hindrances out of your way. God will remove all hindrances out of your life. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. All hindrances, oh God, all blockages, <clears throat> oh God, all barriers. Let them all be moved out of our lives to be able to pray tonight. Every sin, every iniquity. Every unrighteousness, Father, take them far away from us tonight as we pray. Every doubt, every unbelief, every double-mindedness, Papa, take them out away from our lives tonight, even as we pray and as we call upon your holy name. Let there be freedom, O oh God, freedom for me to lead this prayer, and freedom for your people to pray these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus, and the grace to pray in faith. Father, give us that gift tonight of faith that whatever we pray, we believe God. Whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever we lose here on earth will be loosed in heaven. Father, have your way tonight. Father, have your way tonight that all hindrances, oh God, if there be any iniquity in our hearts, if there be any iniquity in our minds, if there be any iniquity in our souls, if there be any iniquity in our spirits, we pray, Lord God, that you will cleanse us we pray, Lord God, that you will wash us. We pray, Lord God, that you will purge us. We pray, Lord God, that you will purify us and remove every hindrance that may be before us. Because if we regard iniquity in our hearts, we know for sure that you will not hear us. Every iniquity, O oh God, we pray that you will remove them from us. Every sin of omission, every sin of commission, every sin that we mistakenly commit, Every sin that we deliberately commit, that is what omission and commission is. Omission is the one that you didn't do it because uh, you wanted to do it. It was an omission. It was a mistake, but it was a sin. But commission is the one you know you want to do it and you know it's wrong. I wanted to ask the Lord to forgive you of either one of them. And God to forgive you of both of them if you have ever dabbled into any one of them. So your prayers will not be a waste of time tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God give us faith. May God give us favor. May God give us mercy. May God give us kindness. Papa, let us find favor with you tonight. Let us find kindness with you tonight. You favor Joseph. You are with Joseph at all times. Father, favor us with answers to prayers tonight. Father, answer my prayers tonight, O God. And give me the desires of my heart tonight, O God. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray. I want you to say, my father, my father. I want you to begin now. Let's begin now. Number seven prayer. Say, father, change my story. As you change the story of Joseph in the name of Jesus. 
All our prayer surrounds that very prayer. Say, my father, my father, I want you to change my story tonight as you change the story of Joseph in the name of Jesus. I don't care where you are tonight. You still have a story to tell. I want you to pray tonight, especially if your prayer, if your, if your story is ongoing. Father, change my story tonight. Change my story tonight uh, as you change the story of Joseph in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, come down and change our stories tonight uh, as you change the story of Joseph in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, things are not perfect yet with my story. Uh, things are not complete yet with my story, O oh God. Uh, things are not where they should be yet with my story, O oh God. Uh, Father, I pray that you come and change my story, O oh God, uh, as you change the story of Joseph tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my own is victory still in the making. My own is victory still in the making, oh God. It's not totally done yet. It's not totally complete yet. I pray that as you completed it for Joseph, I pray that as you change it for Joseph, you will visit me on this prayer line tonight and change my story like you changed the story of Joseph. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I don't care how long you have been in the Lord. I don't care how much of God you know in your life. You may still have stories that need to be changed. Yes, a lot of stories have been changed already, but there's still much, 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 much more to be changed. Father, here I come before you tonight. I'm standing in need of change tonight. Father, here I come before you tonight. I'm in need of change of story tonight. Like you changed the story of Joseph. Papa, come and change my story tonight. I want you to say, Lord, visit my case tonight. Father, pull out my file tonight. Father, pull out my file tonight. Father, pull out my file tonight and review my file with the Son Jesus Christ. And review my file with the Holy Ghost. And review my file with the seraphims and cherubims. And turn things around for me, O oh God. Lord, change my story, O oh God. As you change the the story of Joseph in the name of Jesus. You did not let Joseph die before you change his story. Father, don't let me die before my story is changed, O oh God. Don't let me die before my story is changed, O oh God. Father, change my story right now. Father, change my story right here. Father, change my story in this prayer meeting tonight, just like you did in the life of Joseph, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will decorate your life with his glory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father. Say like you decorated the life of Joseph. I want you to decorate my life, O oh God, with your glory tonight. Come and decorate my life for your glory tonight. Come and see the decoration on Joseph tonight. Come and see the decoration on Joseph tonight. God did it for his glory. God did it for his honor. God did it for his majesty. I wanted to say, Lord, I stand in need of decoration tonight. I stand in need of glory decoration tonight. Like Joseph, oh God, I thank you in advance for the glory you want to decorate my life with tonight. Father, begin tonight, begin tonight, begin tonight. Begin to change things for me, oh God. Begin to turn things around for me, oh God. Begin to decorate my life with blessings tonight. Uh, begin to decorate my life with blessings tonight. Uh, I don't know what you want God to decorate you with. Uh, those of you who are ministers, it may be an anointing you want. Uh, then tell the Lord, decorate my life with anointing tonight. Uh, those of you who are not married, it may be a wife you need. Uh, decorate my life with a wife tonight, Lord. Uh, decorate my life with a husband tonight, Lord. Uh, decorate my life, oh God, uh, with children tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, when glory, God's glory comes down, decoration is what follows. I want you to pray tonight, Papa, in, in the name of Jesus. Decorate my life with anointing tonight. Decorate my life with financial breakthrough tonight. Father, decorate my wife with children tonight. Decorate our married with, with children tonight. In the name of Jesus, we have done without for nine years. We 
have done without for five years. Father, let the miracle begin in the name of Jesus. Let the breakthrough begin in the name of Jesus. Papa, decorate our lives. Papa, decorate our lives. Papa, decorate our lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, open the way, open the way, open the way, open the way. Father, begin to decorate our lives and change our stories, oh God. Change my story as you change the story of Joseph and begin to decorate my life like you did for Joseph tonight. Father, come and turn things around, oh God, for me. Come and take me from the prison to the palace tonight. In any prison that I am, oh God, take me out for your glory, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Any prison that I found myself, do you realize it was the second time Joseph would be in prison? He was in prison after, oh God, God, he was in prison when they threw him into the pit. Yes, he was in prison when they threw him into the pit. And now he was in real prison in, in, in Egypt. I want you to pray tonight. Everything that has happened to me over and over again, I want your glory to come and set me free. In the name of Jesus, decorate me with freedom tonight. Can I ask you to ask God tonight? Come and decorate my life with freedom tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, decorate my life with freedom tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want to be another Joseph, oh God. I want my story to change like the story of Joseph, oh God. Come and open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. Father, as you change the story of Joseph with your glory, as you change the story of Joseph for your glory tonight, come and change my story for your glory tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. All of his brothers were up in arms against him. Did you hear what I said? All of his brothers, every single one of them were in, were in up in arms against him except one. I want you to pray tonight. Say, my father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. Yes, he's your fighter because he fights for you. Say, no matter how many people are up in arms against me, Father, your counsel concerning me shall stand. Say, my father, my fighter tonight. No matter how many powers are up in arms against me, no matter how many family members are up in arms against me, let the counsel of the Lord stand in my life. Let the counsel of the Lord stand in my life. Let the counsel of the Lord stand in my life. Destroy every other counsel, O oh God. Destroy every other congregation, O oh God. Destroy every other one that I've gathered together, O oh God. And let the counsel counsel of the Lord concerning my life. Let the counsel of the Lord concerning my glory begin to come to pass, begin to come to pass, begin to come to pass. I want you to open your mouth and pray wherever you are tonight that that which God has spoken concerning your life will be what begins to come to pass in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, the counsel of the Lord. Some people might have counseled themselves against you. They might have meetings against you in your back. They might have have meetings in the middle of the night. Uh, they might have had meetings in witchcraft covens. Uh, I want you to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever gathering I've gathered together against me, oh God. Uh, and these were his senior brothers, uh, so they were stronger than him. Uh, I want you to pray that the gathering of the strongest ones against me, uh, the gathering of the stronger ones against me, uh, the planning of the stronger ones against me, oh God. Uh, let it amount to nothing. Let it amount to nothing. Let it amount to nothing. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. They are gathering in the office. Let it amount to nothing. They are gathering in the village. Let it amount to nothing. They are gathering in the church. Let it amount to nothing. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. No counsel shall stand against me. Mention your name tonight. No counsel of the wicked shall be able to stand against me. I decree it and I receive it in the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 
Can we pray some prayers tonight uh, about some of those dreams that God has showed you? Uh, he has showed you these dreams not once, not twice, not thrice. Uh, I want you to pray tonight that every dim dream that you have given me, O oh Lord, uh, every dream that you have given me concerning you, my glory, O oh God, uh, let them begin to come to pass in the name of Jesus. Uh, every dream that I have seen, O oh God, uh, every night dream that I've seen, O oh God, uh, every daytime dream that I've seen, O oh God, uh, some of you even dream that dream in airplane. Uh, I want you to pray tonight that every dream that God has given you concerning your glory, uh, every dream that God has given you concerning your destiny, every dream that God has given you concerning your future, I want you to call it to come to pass, come to pass, come to pass. Uh, open your mouth and say, Lord, let it come to pass. Uh, oh, Lord, let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. Uh, no matter how many people like it, uh, no matter how many people hate my dreams, uh, Father, let them come to pass. Let them come to pass. Uh, every dream that you have given me concerning my glory, uh, I command you dreams to come to pass. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, every dream that they are fighting against in my office, uh, every dream that they are fighting against in my business line, uh, every dream that they are fighting against in my family, oh God, uh, Papa, let them come to pass, let them come to pass, let them come to pass. Uh, I want you to pray that every vision that you, God has given you uh, concerning your glory, uh, every dream and every vision that God has given you concerning your glory, uh, God will bring it to pass from tonight uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, every dream, uh, Papa, every vision uh, that you have given me concerning my glory, oh God. Uh, and they have said I'm wasting my time. Uh, they have said I should go on, uh, that it will never come to pass. Uh, but I know a savvy God who is not man that he should lie. He is not the son of man that he should repent. Uh, as he said, shall he not do it? Uh, has he spoken, shall he not bring it to pass? Uh, is he not the one that said he's watching over his word to perform it? Uh, Papa, come and perform the dreams you gave me. Uh, Papa, come and perform the visions you gave me. Uh, Papa, come and perform the revelations you gave me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, say every prophecy, uh, say every prophecy uh, that God has given you for your glory. Uh, every prophecy that God has given you uh, about the coming glory upon your life, uh, that the enemy is fighting. Uh, we are fighting with the prophecy tonight. Uh, we are fighting with the faith in the prophecy tonight. Uh, say in the name of Jesus, come on. Uh, say in the name of Jesus, come on. Uh, say in the name of Jesus. Uh, every prophecy that you have given me, O oh Lord, concerning my future. Every prophecy you have given me, O oh Lord, concerning my marriage. Uh, every true prophecy, maybe I should add true to it, uh, because there are so many false prophets today. Uh, but every true prophecy, O oh God, uh, every God ordained prophecy tonight uh, that you have given me, O oh God, concerning my glory, uh, let them begin to be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Uh, say every battle, uh, open your mouth and fire prayers tonight. Uh, say every battle against my prophecies, uh, every battle against my dreams, uh, every battle against my visions, uh, scatter, 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 scatter. I want you to tell the Lord to send his angels uh, to come and scatter every battle against your visions, uh, to come and scatter every battle against your prophecies, uh, to come and scatter every battle against your dreams, uh, to come and scatter every battle against your revelations. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to open your mouth and pray like thunder tonight. Uh, there are battles against your, your prophecies. Uh, there are battles against your visions. Uh, there are battles against your revelations. Uh, there are battles against your dreams. Uh, I want you to pray tonight every battle against your dreams, revelations, and prophecies. Uh, the Lord will set them on fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, oh God, that answers by fire tonight. Uh, hey, oh God, that answers by fire tonight. Uh, send your fire into the midst of every battle. Uh, Papa, send your fire into the midst of every battle uh, that is being waged against my prophecies. Uh, every battle that is being waged against my dreams. Uh, every battle that is being waged against my revelations. Uh, every battle that is being waged against what God promised to do. Uh, Papa, send fire and burn them down. Uh, Father, burn down the battles tonight. Uh, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. Uh, say, my Father, my fighter tonight. Uh, send fire from heaven tonight. Uh, Papa, send fire from heaven tonight. Uh, 
every battle against my visions, every battle against the prophecies of my glory, every battle against the revelations of my glory. And they said it will not be. That's what they said to him. They said we shall see what will become. I want you to pray tonight in the name of Jesus that what they have spoken, the Lord will cancel. What they have spoken, the Lord will cancel in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. That every evil that he has spoken concerning you, every jest, every ridicule concerning the promise of God for you, it shall not stand. Did you hear what I said? They said the word of God shall not stand. I want you to say by faith tonight. All our prayers tonight has to be by faith. They have to be by faith. Say whatever they have spoken against my prophecies, whatever they have spoken against my visions, whatever they have spoken against my revelation that God gave me, it shall not stand. Whatever they have said will happen, will not happen. Whatever they have said must happen, will not happen. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. I want you to say as Joseph overcame battle against his glory, let me overcome also beginning tonight. Open your mouth and pray to God tonight. As Joseph overcame battle against his glory, Papa, let me overcome also in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I told you 99% of the battles we fight, they are battles against glory. I'm telling you the truth. The battles we fight in life, from powers in the family, from powers on the job, from powers in the church, they are battles against glory. I want you to arise tonight and open your mouth like thunder and say, oh God, as Joseph overcame battles against his glory, let me overcome also in the name of Jesus. Papa, let me overcome also in the name of Jesus. You are the one that gave Joseph peace. Come and give me peace in the midst of these battles. Come and give me victory in the midst of these battles, oh God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. As Joseph overcame, oh God, let me also overcome every battle against my glory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let us divert a little bit and pray for our children here. I want you to pray tonight that every battle against the glory of your children, God will give them the victory in the name of Jesus. Every battle against the glory of your children, your children cannot continue the way they are now. Things must change. Glory will change it. Things must change. The God of Joseph will change it. Lord, I bring my firstborn before you. I bring my secondborn before you. Every battle against their glory, O oh God. I bring all my children before you tonight. Whatever battle against their glory that they are fighting, it means they are going somewhere. It means they are going somewhere. Please arise and let's fight for these children. Arise and let's war for these children. Many of them don't even know how to pray. Many of them don't even know how to call on God. I want you to pray tonight. I'm hearing that the battle many of our children are fighting is an extension of our own battles. Did you hear what I said? They are connected to us and they are fighting these battles because they are connected to us. I want us to bring that to God specifically tonight. Uh, say every battle my children are fighting uh, because they are connected to me, O oh God. Uh, every suffering my children are suffering uh, because they are connected to me, O oh God. Uh, they just want me to cry because of my children. Uh, Father, I pray that you will deliver them. They are not the owner of the battle. Uh, Papa, I'm the owner of the battle. Uh, but now they are, they, are, they are suffering because they are connected to me. Uh, they are suffering by extension tonight. Uh, every battle that my children are fighting, oh God, because of me, oh God. Every battle they have put in the lives of my children, because of my life, because of where I was born, because of how I was born, because of your glory in my life. Now they want my children to let me not enjoy my glory. And many of us have things that our children are going through, oh Lord, that when we think about it, we cannot eat. When we think about it, we cannot sleep because we love our children so 
much. Papa, every battle that is by extension from us that our children are fighting tonight, oh God, arise by fire. Oh God, arise by fire and deliver our children, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, deliver our children from the battle they know nothing about. They are connected to us and the enemy wants us to cry because of them. Father God and his succeeding, oh God. Many of us are depressed when we go through, when we listen to what our children are going through. Some of them are married, they are going through troubles. I pray for deliverance for all our children tonight. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. They are old enough to get married they cannot find a spouse. Oh Lord God, wherever this battle is coming from, oh Lord, destroy them in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will send missiles into the midst of this battle, missiles from the silos of God, and scatter all the battles against our children in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. If you don't have a child and you are believing God for a child, there may be a battle against your born children. I said there may be a battle against your unborn children uh, that they will never come to the earth. Uh, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray tonight. Uh, Father, every battle against our born children, uh, every battle against our unborn children, uh, every blockade that has stopped us and, and hindered us from having children, uh, Father, let it be moved out of the way, oh God. Uh, total victory. Total victory for our little children, uh, for our grown children. Uh, make our children overcome us, uh, the one that are going to be pregnant with, uh, make them overcome us before the pregnancy comes. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to pray, I want you to pray, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, pray for our children, pray for our children, pray for our children. Uh, every battle that they are fighting because of us, uh, every battle that they are fighting because they are connected to us, uh, they cannot get us, so they go after our children. Uh, Papa, deliver our children from every strange sickness. Uh, deliver our children from every strange behavior. Uh, deliver our children from every strange habit. Uh, deliver our children from every strange lifestyle. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every plan to ruin their glory. Uh, every plan to make life difficult for them. Uh, every plan to bring hardship into their lives. Uh, Papa, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them. Uh, deliver us, deliver our children by extension. Deliver us, deliver our children by extension in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to change the prayer tonight? Say, my father, my father, my father. Say, every warfare. Come on, open your mouth. Say, every warfare huh? following me from my father's house. I command it to expire in the name of Jesus. Say, every warfare following me from my father's house expire by fire tonight. Every warfare following me from my my mother's house. Uh, every warfare following me from my father's house. Uh, oh Lord God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me tonight. Uh, every warfare following me from my father's house. Uh, I command you to expire tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. Uh, that every warfare following you from your father's house. Uh, every warfare following you from your mother's house. Uh, every warfare following you from your family circle. Uh, I command it to expire by fire tonight. Uh, Father, let your fire command it to expire tonight. Uh, let your fire burn down every warfare tonight. Uh, let your fire burn down every battle tonight. Uh, let your fire burn down all the weapons that are being used against me tonight. Uh, every battle of envy tonight. Uh, come on, open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. Uh, every battle of envy from my father's house. Uh, every battle of envy from my mother's house. Uh, I command it to expire by fire tonight. Uh, every warfare following me from my father's house, oh God, or every warfare that I inherited from my parents, oh God, let them expire, let them expire, let them expire, let them expire, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it was the siblings of this man, oh Jesus, it was the siblings of Joseph, oh same father, same mother, ah, there is wickedness in this world, can I ask you to pray prayer tonight, every battle from my siblings, 
says, I decree you shall not prosper in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every battle from my siblings, every battle from my siblings, it may not even be warfare with the demonic powers. It may be warfare with their mouth. It may be warfare with their gossip. It may be warfare with their bad mouthing. I just want you to put everything together and pray against them tonight. Every battle from my siblings, oh God, I decree you shall not prosper in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Whether you are using spiritual weapons or natural weapons, whatever weapon is being used against me in battle from my household, from my siblings, oh God, from my brothers, oh God, from my sisters, oh God, scatter by fire tonight, scatter by fire tonight, scatter by fire tonight. You shall not prosper. Battles from my siblings. You shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's go to our nephews and our nieces. Every battle from my nephews and my nieces. All battles from my nephews and my nieces. I decree that you shall not prosper. I decree that you shall not prosper. All battles from my siblings. All battles from my nephews and from my nieces. I command you not to prosper in the name of Jesus. Whatever they are saying about me that I know nothing about, whatever they are predicting about me that is not of God, I command it to scatter, O oh God, as eggs get to the ground and they cannot be put together again. Father, let every battle against me from my nephews and from my nieces, let them all shatter into a thousand pieces in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray concerning your stepmother people? Can I ask you to pray concerning your stepfather's people? Every battle from my stepmothers and from my stepfathers, you shall not prosper in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every cause that have been spoken against me in anger by my stepfathers and my stepmothers, Father, let them not prosper, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. I want you to pray tonight. Every battle from your former church, every battle from the church you used to be part of, and you left, they did not like that you left. And they put curses against you. They put blockages in your way. And they said your destiny will not be fulfilled. I want you to arise and stand against them. Every battle from everywhere that I left. Every battle from everywhere that I walked away from. And I told them I have a vision. I told them I have a revelation. I told them I have a prophetic call. And they said no, no, no. You will not prosper. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Arise tonight and cancel everything every evil that has been done. Cancel every evil that has been done, whether it is done out of anger or it is done out of uh, wisdom of man. Father, cancel everything that has been spoken against me from my former place of work, from my former church, from my former office, from my former business. Whatever they are spoken against me, O oh God, let them not prosper any longer from tonight. Papa, let them not prosper any longer tonight. What they have said will not happen, let it begin to happen. What they have said I will never have, let me begin to have them. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. It was his brothers, it was his brothers. I said it was his brothers that did this to him. I want you to pray tonight. Every blood of my blood, every flesh of my flesh, fighting against my glory, be disappointed, be disappointed, be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, tell the Lord to disappoint point them tonight. Father, every blood of my own blood, every flesh of my own flesh. Sometimes these are people you give money to Jesus. These are people you build houses for Jesus. These are people you send their children to school Jesus. And they are still fighting against you. God of judgment, arise. God of judgment, arise. Come and judge this case for me, O oh God. Come and judge this case for me, O oh God. Come and judge this case for me, O oh God. I said every blood of my blood, every flesh of 
my flesh. Uh, they've eaten my food. They've drank my water. They've taken my money and they've enjoyed it. Uh, and yet they are saying all kinds of nonsense against me. Uh, they are handing me over to wicked people. Uh, Papa judge tonight. Uh, Papa judge righteously tonight. Uh, all my blood of my blood. Uh, my flesh of my flesh. Uh, that are fighting against my glory tonight. Uh, Papa disappoint them. Disappoint them. Disappoint them. Uh, oh Lord give them the food of disappointment to eat. Uh, all my blood. All my blood. All my flesh. Uh, that are fighting me. Oh God. Uh, all blood of my blood. All flesh of my flesh. Uh, that are even using witchcraft to fight me. Oh God. Uh, Papa give them the food of disappointment to eat concerning my life concerning my glory before their eyes let them see my glory shine father don't let them die no 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 let them be alive to see your glory shine through me oh god let them be alive to see your glory shine through me oh god in the name of jesus in the name of jesus what they have said will not happen let them live to see it happen what they have said i will not have let them live to see me have it they want to kill my wife they want to kill my husband papa they shall not prosper they want to kill my children papa they shall not prosper all arrows that are coming from family members oh god all arrows that are coming from blood of my blood all arrows that are coming from flesh of my flesh fighting against my glory fighting against my husband fighting against my wife fighting against my finances fighting against my only child. Papa, break them down in the name of Jesus. They are fighting against my only daughter. They are fighting against my only son. Father, break the arrows, O God, and return them to sender in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, O say Jesus. Jesus Christ, lift me above all family conspiracies, oh God. Papa, lift me above all family conspiracies, oh God. Papa, take your everlasting arms. Please, Lord, please, Lord, please, Lord, answer this prayer. Take your everlasting arms. Put it under these people that are praying and lift them above family conspiracies in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray wherever you are tonight. Say, Lord, lift me above. Papa, lift me above. All family conspiracies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, put your everlasting arms under me tonight. Papa, put your everlasting arms under me tonight and lift me above all family conspiracies. Lift me above all extended family conspiracies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, lift me up above all conspiracies. Lift me higher above all conspiracies. I want you to pray tonight. That you will be untouchable. I want you to pray tonight, Lord, make me untouchable to the conspiracies of family members. In the name of Jesus, all conspiracies in my family against my glory, all conspiracies in my church family against my glory, all conspiracies in my neighborhood against my glory, all conspiracies in my business against my glory, all conspiracies on my job against my glory. Papa, scatter them. Papa, scatter them. Lift me above them. You are the one that did the same thing for Daniel, oh God. Oh, Daniel was under serious conspiracies. But God lifted him above them all. May God lift me up tonight above all family conspiracies. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm laughing, oh, because of my next prayer. I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing. I got this prayer after I had finished. And I want us to pray it. We must pray it. Say battles, yes. Say battles that are left behind by dead family members. Did you hear what I said? Battles that are left behind by dead family members expire by fire tonight. Expire by fire tonight. Go to where they went into the grave in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight that battles that you are presently fighting because of dead family members, because of what they did before they die or before they died. Father God, let the battles expire tonight. Let the causes expire tonight. Whatever has been done 
against me uh, by people that are dead in my family, oh God. Uh, whatever is presently working against my life uh, from people that are dead in my family, oh God. Uh, let it die. Let it die. Let it die like they died. Uh, let it die like they die. Uh, battles that are left behind by family members that are dead. Uh, let the battles die like they died. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, battles die tonight uh, and be buried tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, battles that are left behind uh, by dead ancestors tonight uh, that are troubling my life. Uh, papa, 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 let the battles die. Let the battles die. Let the battles die. Let the battles die. In the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, what about their devices, people? What about their devices? Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, disappoint the devices of all household enemies of my glory. Hey, Papa, disappoint, disappoint, disappoint all devices of all my household enemies against my glory, O oh God. All the devices that they put together. I said all the devices that they put together. Everything that they sew together, that this one will work. If that one is, does not work, this one will work. I want you to say, Father, disappoint them. Uh, disappoint them. Uh, give them the food of failure to eat, O oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, give them the drink of failure to drink, O oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. What is it? What is it? I'm asking you, I said, what is it? What is it that is making your people angry? Eh? What is it that is making them angry about you? Say, Father, whatever is making them angry about me, oh God, deliver me from them in the name of Jesus. Papa, deliver me from them, oh God. Whatever is making them angry that they are fighting me that I will not have a child. Whatever is making them angry that I will not have a husband, uh, that I will not uh, have a wife, uh, that I will not have a blessing, uh, that what you have said will not come to pass. Uh, Papa, whatever is making them angry about me, for Joseph, oh, Jesus, deliver us. Uh, for Joseph, he was the coat of many colors. Oh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, for Joseph, it was because he was given a report of them. Two things, coat of, coat of many colors and the report he was given. I want you to pray tonight that whatever you have have done that your people are angry with you oh god plead my cause papa plead my cause tonight father plead my cause tonight papa plead my cause tonight i don't know what i did oh jesus i don't know what i did but obviously they thought i did something obviously they thought i did something papa i don't know what i did or maybe i did something and i don't know papa you know everything you are the omniscient god God, plead my cause with these wicked people. Plead my cause with these wicked people. Plead my cause with this unforgiving people. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, make it impossible for them to put out my glory, O oh God. Those of my kinsmen, those of my, hey, 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 my kinsmen that are angry with me, O oh God. My kinsmen that are angry with me, O oh Lord, whatever they are angry about me for, whatever they said I have done, O oh God. Papa, plead my cause. Papa, plead my cause. Papa, plead my cause. Make it impossible for them to put away my glory. Some people don't just put it out. They put it away. I want you to pray tonight. Whether they have put it away, whether they have stolen it, whether they have captured it, Papa, return it to me. Return my glory to me tonight. Papa, return my glory to me tonight. Whatever has been done to my glory by my family members, Papa, return it to me tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa, whatever has been done to my glory tonight. Uh, Father, restore it to me tonight. Uh, Father, restore it to me tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can we pray against their weapons tonight? Uh, people, can we pray against their weapons tonight? Uh, I want you to say, my father, my father, all their weapons, uh, let them catch fire tonight. Uh, every weapon that has been used against me, uh, every weapon 
that is being used against me. Uh, did you hear what I said? Every weapon that they are using, that they are able to afflict my wife, uh, that they are able to afflict my husband, uh, that they are able to afflict my business, uh, that they are able to afflict my health, uh, that they are able to afflict my children. Uh, weapons catch fire tonight. Uh, weapons catch fire tonight. Uh, weapons catch fire tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can I pray for you tonight? Uh, or let me ask you to pray tonight. Uh, you know there was a Judah. Hallelujah. There was a Judah. There was a Judah that rose up and he was pleading for Joseph. I want you to pray that as God raised up Judah to plead for Joseph, God will raise up intercessors for you among your household enemies. Somebody will just say, no, this is enough. Let's leave this man alone now. Look at what he has done. Look at what he has done for us. Why are we even fighting him? And the fight is over. Or maybe they will talk about your father. That, hey, your father was a good man. Oh, Okay, because of his father, let us leave him alone. Because of his mother, let us leave him alone. I want you to pray tonight. Intercessors among my enemies. I know you have never had anybody pray like that before but you see that all over the Bible uh, that God will speak to one of your enemies uh, and they will become intercessors uh, that are fighting for you, uh, that are speaking for you, uh, that are pleading your case for you. Uh, Lord, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to say, Lord, wherever my name is being mentioned for evil in my family, wherever evil plans have been plotted against me in my family, among those that are plotting it, among those that are planning it, raise up intercessors for me, O oh God, to release me, to release my children, to release my blessings that they have sat on for so long. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa, go into their meeting, O oh God, and breathe upon any one of them that you can be used, any one of them that can be used, any one of them that can speak on my behalf. Let them speak on my behalf and intercede seed and say they should leave me alone and say they should reverse what they have done. Papa, you have done it before. Papa, you will do it again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, do it, do it, do it, do it tonight. Papa, do it, do it, do it, do it tonight. They are planning to hold a meeting this weekend. Father, assemble with them in their meeting and turn their counsel around, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray tonight uh, where you have been disrobed of glory. Uh, you know what it means to put a robe on and you know what it means to put a robe off. Uh, there are glories that came to with, to with you to the earth uh, that many have been disrobed. I want you to pray tonight uh, where I have been disrobed by household wickedness. Uh, Father, cover me with your glory. Cover me with your glory. Cover me back with your glory. Uh, double portion glory. Uh, better than the one that was taken off. Uh, Father, give it to me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. If Joseph never went through what he went through, he will never have become what he became. I want you to pray tonight. Everything that they have taken away from you, every robe that they have disrobed you of, every nakedness that they have changed you into, the Lord will turn it around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will turn it around in the name of Jesus. Every robe, every robe of glory. Papa, every robe of glory that they have taken from my life, Every robe of glory that they have taken from my finances. Every robe of glory that they have taken from the goodness of my life. Father, oh God, they, they will stand against you. You will build a house. You will not be able to finish it. You will buy a car. You will not be able to finish the payment. You will start a farm. You will not be able to harvest it. I want you to pray tonight. Every way they are battling me, oh God, battle them back for me, oh God. Every way they are fighting me, oh God, fight them back for me, oh Oh God, uh, whatever I've been sentenced into, uh, they send this man to prison. Oh, they send this man to the to the uh, to the ditch. Oh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, whatever I've been sentenced into, let mercy overrule to me for me. Oh God, uh, Papa, let your mercy overrule for me tonight. Uh, no matter what I've been sentenced into, Oh God, uh, whatever I've been sentenced into, Oh God, uh, let mercy overrule for me in the name of Jesus. Uh, some of us have been sentenced into oppression at night. Uh, 
Somebody will be coming and pressing you down in your sleep. Uh, somebody will be coming and, and sleeping with you in your sleep. Uh, even animals will come and try to sleep with you in your sleep. Uh, I want that's what you have been sentenced to. I want you to pray tonight uh, and know that they have prosecuted you and they have convicted you and they have sentenced you. But you know the Lord is a God of mercy. Uh, I want you to say mercy over rule for me tonight. Uh, open your mouth and talk to the Lord wherever you are. Say mercy, 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 mercy. Oh God of mercy, uh, overrule for me tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Overrule for me tonight, oh God of mercy. Overrule for me tonight, oh God of mercy. Uh, I like how you are praying, people. I want you to tell the Lord to overrule for you tonight. Uh, whatever they have sentenced you into, uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, whatever jail you have sentenced you into, uh, whatever jail Potiphar's wife has sentenced you into, uh, I want the Lord to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Uh, did you notice that uh, this man's problem, uh, he was going from one problem to another. He was going from one problem problem to another. I want you to pray tonight. Uh, maybe they have sentenced you uh, to go from one failure to another, to go from one headache to another, to go from one headache to another. Oh Lord, deliver me, overrule, oh God. Uh, whatever they have sentenced me into, oh Lord, overrule it, overrule it, overrule it. Uh, the money that they have said I will never have, Papa, overrule it for me tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever they have said I will not have, uh, I said any place that they have sent Sentence us to tonight. Uh, any place you have sentenced me to tonight, uh, Papa, overrule and release me tonight. Uh, Papa, overrule and release us tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can you pray tonight uh, that whatever they have stolen from you, uh, whatever they have stolen from you, uh, whatever they have stolen from your destiny, uh, whatever they have stolen from you, uh, the Lord will recover for you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, all the good things that they have stolen from me, oh Lord, recover for me tonight in the name of Jesus. Papa, recover for me tonight in the name of Jesus. Whatever household enemies have stolen from me, oh God, in the name of Jesus, they have stolen peace. They have stolen enjoyment. They have stolen no from your children to be able to enjoy in the land of the living. I want you to pray tonight. Recover all. Recover all like David recovered all. You remember David that lost it all, but he recovered it all. I want you to pray tonight the glory of God. Say for your glory, O God. Say for your glory, O God. Help me to recover everything I have lost. Help me to recover everything that they have stolen. Help me to recover everything they have imprisoned. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I like what Joseph said. I like what Joseph said. Joseph said, God has made me to forget all the hatred of my father's house. Let us pray like that in verbatim. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my fighter. Say, cause me to forget all the headaches of my father's house. And I've had many of them. And you have had many of them. Say, all the headaches of my father's house. Papa, cause me to forget them, oh God. Cause me to forget them, oh God. The only way for you to forget is because God has blessed you. I want you to pray tonight. Uh, all the headaches of my father's house. Uh, all the heartaches of my father's house. Uh, all the pains of my father's house. Uh, all the wounds of my father's house. Uh, all the things that I remember, oh God. Uh, people I trusted in my father's house uh, and they took advantage of me because I was young. Uh, I want you to pray tonight uh, and it still troubles you even though you are a Christian. Uh, if you want to be honest, be honest. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, my father, my master. Uh, my father, my fighter. Uh, my father, my recoverer, cause me to forget all the heartaches, cause me to forget all the headaches from my father's house in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight that all the emotional wounds, many of us have been wounded emotionally. I want you to pray tonight all my emotional wounds that I've received in my father's house. Oh Lord, bring me healing tonight. I receive healing tonight. Oh Lord, I come for healing tonight. Every emotional wound that that I've received from household enemies, from my brothers, from my sisters, from my stepmothers and from my stepsisters, from my stepfathers, oh God, whoever they are, all emotional wounds. Father, heal me tonight. 
Heal me tonight. Father, heal me tonight. I want you to tell the Lord to touch your memory tonight. Tell the Lord to touch your memory tonight. Say, my father, my father, say, remove from my memory, remove from my memory all the wicked things that was done for me as a young child. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your stepmother, your stepfather, he did things to you that you have even said you will not forgive them. They put pains in your life. I want you to pray to Tonight, Lord, go into my memory bank tonight. Empty my memory bank tonight of all the pains I have suffered in life from household people, from my own kinsmen, from blood of my own blood and flesh of my own flesh. And give me the grace to forgive them, O oh God. Empty my memory bank, O oh God, of all the pains I have suffered from them and help me to forgive them, O oh God. Help me not to retaliate against them, O oh God. Help me not to retaliate against their own children, O oh God. We are being used as a slave, O oh my God. Cheap labor, cheap labor, cheap labor, cheap labor, cheap labor, cheap labor. I want you to pray tonight. Where you are being used as a slave growing up, the Lord will make you to become a master in the latter end, in the name of Jesus, as compensation, where they have used you, where they have used you, like a slave growing up, the Lord will let you become a master at the latter end, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, come and bless me. So bless me, O God, that I will forget the hardship of my early life. Papa, so bless me, O God, that I will forget the hardship of my early life. What is said I will never become, Help me to become it, O God, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will turn all hardship into you becoming headship. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say compensation, compensation, divine compensation, glory compensation. Say, my father, my father, begin to compensate me, O God, for every injustice I've suffered in life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, compensate me with a high life. Did you hear what I said? Compensate me with a high life for every injustice that I've suffered in life in the name of Jesus. Father, compensate me, compensate me, compensate me, O God, in the name of Jesus for every injustice I've suffered in life. O Lord, turn them into high life for me. Financial high life, marital high life, professional high life in the name of Jesus because they believe my life will be low life. They always even accuse me and abuse me and they say you this low life. Father, turn every abuse into high life. They have not seen anything yet. Oh, Jesus. I want you to tell the Lord I thank you for what I have become but make me greater than what I have become that your name may be glorified and magnified, oh God. Joseph became a star. I want you to pray tonight. Make me the star of my family, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Make me the star they never want me to be, O oh God. Make me the star they never want me to become, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Can we pray for our children again? Can we pray for our children's children again? I want you to pray. I want you to say, my father, my father, let my children and my children's children never go through household injustices that I went through in the name of Jesus. Father, spare my children, spare my children's children from any household injustices that I went through, oh God. Let their own lives be better than my own lives. Let there be comfort and ease in their own lives in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, say as you are with Joseph every step of the way. Never leave me, never forsake me. Oh, Papa, I cannot make it without you with all these around me. Say as you are with Joseph, every step of the way, the Lord with Joseph. Every step of the way, the Lord was with Joseph. Say, Father, be with me every step of the way. Don't leave me alone, oh God. I need you every day. I need you every hour. In the name of Jesus, never leave me. Never forsake me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name 
name of Jesus. People, they came and bowed down to him. Oh, I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, bless me with so much glory that those who hate me will come and bow down before me, oh God. Bless me with so much glory, oh God, that those who hate me will come and bow down before me, oh God. They have not bowed down, oh, they have not bowed. They think they are bowing down. Ah, no. More glory, more glory for you. I pray more glory for you, more glory for you that will make those that hated you to come and bow down before you. I want you to pray that the Lord will so bless you that those who did you wrong will be full of regret in the name of Jesus. I want you to so bless us, oh God, that those who wronged us will be full of regret in the name of Jesus. He said, in the land of my affliction. I want you to pray. I don't know what land you live, oh, maybe you live in Africa, maybe you live in America, maybe you live in India, maybe you live in Europe. I want you to pray tonight. Say in this land that I live now, I don't know what that land is. Let affliction be far from me in the name of Jesus. In my land of affliction, I want you to pray tonight that this land will not be a land of affliction for me. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Say, Papa, don't let this land be a land of affliction for me, oh God. In this land that I live tonight, it may be the land of Africa. In this land that I live tonight, it may be a land of Europe. In this land that I live tonight, let me be far from affliction. Let affliction be far from me. Affliction against my health. Affliction against my finances. Affliction against my marriage. Oh God, in this land, I want you to pray tonight. There is affliction in this land, oh. I want you to pray tonight. The affliction that is in this land shall not be your portion. The affliction that is in this land from right now will not be your portion. And if there be any affliction in your life right now, the Lord will remove it. The Lord will remove it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I decree, oh, that in this land that I live, in this land that I live, suffering shall not be my portion. Distress shall not be my portion. Stay pain shall not be my portion. Trouble shall not be my portion. Misery shall not be my portion. Wretchedness shall not be my portion. Hardship shall not be my portion. Misfortune shall not be my portion. Adversity shall not be my portion. Sorrow shall not be my portion. Torment shall not be my portion. Tribulation, you shall not be my portion in this land that I live in. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Affliction that is common to people in this land. Let it not be my portion, O oh God. People, they falsely accused him. Oh, Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. False accusations shall not be your portion in this land. I've seen people of your color. Oh, they falsely accuse them. And they have no way around. They end up in prison. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. False accusations shall not be my portion. Have you prayed for your children lately? That they will not be falsely accused of anything. You know, these children, they are so funny. Uh, they go around with their friends uh, and they go into the wrong place and the wrong time and they falsely accuse them of this and that uh, and they cannot bring themselves out of it. Uh, I wanted to pray that for you and your children uh, in this land that you are in. Uh, false accusation shall not be your portion. Uh, they will not come and plant drugs uh, in your car. They will not come and plant gun uh, in your house. Uh, false accusation. Uh, Father, let it not be my portion in this land. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, false uh, uh, false accusation, uh, false imprisonment. Uh, let it not be my portion in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are rounding up. Oh, we are already one minute late. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. I want you to pray tonight. Uh, cause me to be fruitful in this land. Uh, cause me to be fruitful in this land. Uh, he said, in the land of my affliction, uh, I still was fruitful. Uh, I want you to pray for fruitfulness tonight. Uh, Father, in this land... Uh, Cause us to be fruitful in this land. Cause us to be fruitful. I know things are hard. I know things are difficult. But in the midst of hardness, in the midst of trouble, God can work everything together for you that you become fruitful. I want you to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. When Joseph went to Egypt, he had no wife. When Joseph went to Egypt, he had no children. When Joseph went to Egypt, he had nothing. But by the time his brother Brothers came. He had everything. I wanted to pray, Lord, make me fruitful in this land. If you live in America, mention America. If you live 
live in India, Sri Lanka, if you live in Guyana, if you live in Jamaica, say, Lord, in this land, I shall be fruitful. I must be fruitful. I will be fruitful with the fruit of the womb, with the fruit of money in the bank, with the fruit of spiritual gifts. Father, every battle against fruitfulness must expire tonight. Every battle that I said I will not be fruitful, oh God, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it be destroyed tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, what people are not allowed to attain in my in this country, what people like me cannot attain, let me attain. In the name of Jesus, barrenness, I destroy you from my life. Fruitfulness, I call upon you to come into my life. Father, let affliction turn into fruitfulness in my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have already gone over time. Oh, say my father for the last prayer. Say as you change the story of Joseph, change my story also. Open your mouth for that last prayer in the name of Jesus. Papa, as you change the story of Joseph, as you change the story of Joseph, Father, change my story also. Father, change our stories also. As you change the story of Joseph, Papa, change our stories tonight. As you change the story of Joseph into glory, as you change the story of Joseph into glory, Father, change our stories tonight uh, as the stories of Joseph was changed, uh, as the story of Joseph was changed to glory. Papa, change our story tonight uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, change our story to glory as you change the story of Joseph uh, in such a miraculous way, in such a wonderful way. Papa, change my story in spite of household enemies uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight to say thank you. Thank you for such a time of prayer. Thank you because all these things are written for examples. For us to have hope. That what you did for others, you are able to do for us also. Father, if it can happen in the family of blood to blood, how much more on in the office? How much more in the church? How much more in places where nobody knows us? Father, if it can happen through people that came from the same womb, how much more in other places? But as you deliver Joseph, we have cried to you tonight. And we believe that we are going to see signs of deliverance. From what have been done against us in the family. Done against our children in the family. Done against our wives and our husbands in the family. Done against us in the churches. Done against us in the places of work and business places. Father, we thank you. We praise you for our story that is changing right now. And for fruitfulness that they said will never happen. Where they have sold us in the realm of the spirit where they have sold us in witchcraft covens. We thank you because you have bought us back. And great things will begin to be our portion from tonight. We bless you and we worship you for the answer, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, All we have prayed. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. And amen. All amen. And they amen. Can themselves. Amen. Thank you, engineer. And thank you, everybody, tonight for praying so fervently. I can feel the heat of your prayer where I am here in the spirit. And I pray that the powers that have worked against you will feel the heat. I'm especially worried about our children. I don't know why they don't leave these children alone. And I pray that whatever powers are fighting against your children because of you, they will feel the heat. And whatever they have done will catch fire tonight. So you will be free, and your children will be free also in Jesus' name. Don't forget on Sunday, 10 a.m., brethren from Queens, brethren from Long Island, it will be your turn to come to church at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. I got a message for you. God's going to bless you. And the rest of you who cannot come to church because of a pandemic protection arrangement, I want you to please stay home. And don't forget about the doctrine of coronavirus. My message is one hour at home, 10.30 to 11.30. Focus 
on whatever uh, means you are using to listen to the message. You can listen to it on YouTube. You can listen to it on Facebook. You can listen to it on, on Spreaker, on the podcast. You can also listen to it if you want on Twitter. And it's the same message. God will bless you and bless you abundantly. And at 3 p.m., we are missing many of you. I don't know where you are at 3 p.m. May God remind you this Sunday that at 3 p.m. we have Sunday school and we need you to be with us on Zoom. Join me on the prayer line next week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. If Jesus tarries, may God protect us till then. We got another series to pray about next week. And I know these prayers are doing me a lot of good. And I trust it is doing they are doing you a lot of good too. And on Monday, that's before Wednesday, crossover prayer meeting at 7 p.m. New York time. That will be uh, 12 midnight Nigerian time, 11 p.m. Ghana time. We will be praying. I don't even remember what time it will be in Europe. I've lost the count, but you know better than I do. It will be that Monday night. At 7 p.m. New York time, figure out what the time in your own place is. We don't want to cross over into the new month without crossing over with God. So join us. It's going to be a, a blessed time. If you're watching us on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will appreciate it very, very, very much. I think that's all the announcements I have to make before we say the grace. But don't forget to go online at freshanointing.org slash give online. Seriously, folks, the month just ended. We need your support. God needs your support. And I know you yourself need God's support. If you give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking, 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 shaking together, and running over shall men give into your bosoms. May God bless you as you give. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship right now? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. Thank you so much for this week. Thank you for coming. If you didn't come, who will pray with us? So I appreciate your coming. And I pray that God will reward you abundantly. I want to hear your testimonies so I can share what God is doing in your life with the people who are praying along with us. We we'll bless the name of the Lord for you. May God watch over you. May God keep you. Until we meet again, this is your servant saying good night.